Morning guys, another cold fall day here. See the smoke coming out of the chimney there? I think you can. Yeah, got her nice and warm in the house. Anyway, it's not snowing. It ain't raining. So I figured I'd come out, show you what I'm gonna do to my car, my truck, my hot rod. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's developed a bit of a problem. It's been happening for a while, and what's going on is the starter is dragging. It's staying engaged when you let the key go, and it's when it comes off the Bendex, it's um, not releasing fully from the flywheel, so it's grinding a little bit. See the starter way down in there? It's got the wrap on it, close to the header. So anyway, um, to fix that, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So I found a place to put the camera. I don't even know if it will fix it. It's just one of them things you go, you know, it, it happens. You go through this stuff, guys. If you deal with this stuff long enough, you're going to eventually find out yourself, if you haven't already, that uh, not everything goes according to plan. Very rarely does that happen. That, that shit only happens on TV. You know, where you got like 30 dudes working on your stuff, working on the hot rod, and then they cut to commercial break and they come back and the car is like running perfectly. Like, that doesn't happen. There's always going to be stuff to come up. Anyway, this is a shim, a starter shim. I think it's 330 seconds thick. And it's the bolt pattern of the starter. And the idea behind it is you put this, the starter onto this, and this sits up against the, the, uh, the flex plate. Um, the steel plate and it's supposed to put your starter back a little bit and what that'll allow then is that the Bendex when it comes off your starter drive is what I'm talking about it'll come off far enough that it doesn't hit the flywheel now I don't know exactly why it's doing this um, the starter is for a manual transmission F-150 with a 164 tooth flywheel which is what I have but uh, there can be other things that might have given me a starter for an automatic car. I had to do, do a quick catch there. Uh, they might have given me a starter for an automatic. Um, that's possible. Uh, so in any case, you shouldn't really have to do this. But And I don't know for sure if it's even going to fix it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, in any case, it's today's the first day where it's not like pouring rain or friggin snowing or blowing or whatever. So uh, I guess I'm getting too soft. I'm getting too used to the wood stove. So anyway, I got to get off my butt and get out here and see what I can do with this. And uh, I'll let you all know if uh, if I fixed it or not. Uh, I may not fix it with this. It could be also there's one other scenario. Uh, there could be a problem with the starter itself. I've seen that a few times. Where, um, well, because they're all made cheaply now, guys. Even the best starters that you buy, that are the real expensive ones, they're made. They're made cheaply. They're made by inf inferior products, inferior com countries, inferior companies making them. Right. So, it's hard to get anything that's any decent anymore. That's decent. Um, Years ago, you like I remember even as a kid, uh, you buy a starter and the thing would friggin' outlast the vehicle in a lot of cases, but it's just not the case anymore. And in order to make this truck reliable, because I want to daily drive it, um, it has to start reliably every time. I can't have, be guessing at that. It has to work. So Anyway, just an update, and uh, I'll get back to you later. Cheers.